Welcome to the video. Today is another Ask Ella video. Yay, party. Insane, insane. So basically recently I've started this new series called Ask Ella where I give you advice on things that you asked for. I'm really happy with like the feedback on it so far because I like to know that my advice is helpful to people and that makes me a happy gal. So a few things before we get started. You may have noticed this swaggy green hair that I now have, which in fact is a wig from a website called Trendy Wigs. If you're interested, and being swaggy and having a wig. Make sure and go to trendywigs.com. You can get any wig for 30% off as long as you use the code ELLA30. If you do end up using the code and getting the wig, make sure and send me pictures of you in that wig because I'm sure you look really freaking awesome. One more thing before we start, I keep like dancing the night away. If you want to stay updated with what I'm doing with like my filmmaking and stuff, and YouTube and all the snazzy things in life. Make sure and follow my Instagram and Twitter, which are both Ella Fields with three L's. All right, let's get into this Ask Ella video. So since it's back to school season, and I'm sure many of you are starting school soon if you haven't already, I'm sure many of you are starting with new schools where you're really freaking terrified because you maybe don't know anyone or maybe you just are terrified because starting a new school is terrifying. I've done it many times. It's not the most comfortable experience, which is like perfectly okay, but I think if you have a few tips that you can kind of like grasp onto when starting a new school, I think it'll make the transition a lot smoother and easier for you. So I've started a new school quite a few times. My elementary school that I went to is an elementary school and a middle school, and I was really close with everyone there and I had so many good friends, but for middle school I decided to go to a different place that had a good film program so I could do what I like to do. So I left all my friends at my elementary school and I started a new school where I knew zero people. And I definitely learned the hard way how to make friends at a new school. I think one of the biggest mistakes that I made was expecting that friends would just come to me, but then now I have come to realize that in order to make friends you need to put in an effort to make friends. I was pretty miserable at that school for a bit. In my last year there I made some really, really great friends who are I'm still like besties with now, which is really great. Then for high school, I started at a new school, which again, a similar thing happened. Although this time I switched to another school that I am at now. And this school that I'm at is probably one of the best schools I've ever been to and I've been able to really open up and make some really great friends and do some really great things. I think for me, all of these lessons have kind of just come from experience, but I don't want you to have to go through what I went through when I started new school, so I'm hoping to kind of like help you guys out with this a little bit. So like I said before, my first advice to you is to know that friends will not just be handed to you. If you're going to want to make really good friends, especially when you don't know anyone, you're going to have to put in effort to talk to people and to put yourself in awkward situations in order to talk to people. So obviously I know that friends come really easy to some people and not so easy to others. I'm one of the people where I have to like really work hard to talk to people because I've struggled with a lot of social anxiety throughout my life. I was really, really like painfully shy in middle school. I'm getting over it more now just because I learned that I have to start putting myself in awkward situations and the more awkward situations I put myself in, the better I get at handling these awkward situations, if that makes sense. It's so hard and I really think that it comes with experience, but if you kind of have the mindset that it doesn't really matter as much, try and think of the bigger picture, think that you'll never see these people again after school, just know that it's really not the biggest deal in the world, it's not as big as it seems to be. Kind of think of it as practice maybe, if you're going into a new middle school or going to a new high school, just when you're introducing yourself to people, think of it as practice for the future. Think about it, okay, like maybe even if I don't want to be best friends with this person, maybe just practice going up to them, introducing yourself, starting conversation if you can, ask them what they, like what academy they're in if you're at any sort of like art school, ask them like what classes they have. It's just small talk, honestly, but it does spark conversation and hopefully through that small talk you'll able You'll be able to have big talk. Just kind of view talking to people as practice for the future. That's one thing that kind of helped me to kind of give me perspective and think that, oh, this doesn't matter that much, it's just practice. Take advantage of every opportunity that is presented to you. If you get invited to a party or you get invited to hang out with someone, try not to um, back out out of fear because I've done that many times. But then there have also been times when I have been like, okay, I really don't want to go to this party. I think that some of those like 
really uncomfortable like social situations that I put myself in so many good things came out of it. You never know what's gonna happen. You have to try and take advantage of every single opportunity that is given to you because I really believe that like everything happens for a reason and every opportunity that is presented to you is something that you're supposed to take advantage of and it's like the universe's way of saying like, hey, like this is, this will help you a lot. So that's kind of some of my main advice on how to like make friends. Also starting a new school can be scary because you may not know where to go, where the classes are, and it's a big scary campus and you suck at directions. There's gonna be so many kids who don't know where they're going either. So if you get lost, just really don't hesitate to ask anyone. Don't suffer in silence, just just ask. It's, it's okay, it's really not that big of a deal. There's gonna be so many people who are lost, so teachers will be forgiving if you're late to class or if you don't, don't know where you are. Just know that it's like, Really a lot of this has to do with just kind of seeing the big picture, just ask, just know that it's really not a big deal and you won't remember it in like a week. If you don't want to know more people and you just kind of want to stay in your shell, that is like 100% okay. If you're really introverted and don't want to talk to anyone, then that's perfectly okay. You're allowed to be alone if you want to. I'm just giving advice to people who really want to put themselves out there and know lots of people and get a really fulfilling experience of school. But yes, obviously, if you don't want to engage with a lot of people, you you don't have to. Do whatever makes you happy, do whatever makes you comfortable. So yeah, that's like kind of some of my main advice. I could dive so deep into things and lessons that I've learned when starting a new school. If there's anything more specific you want me to make a video on, let me know. I think just like the main point is that know that it's going to be so uncomfortable, but you kind of just have to try your very very best to put yourself out there and get through the awkward phase and get it over with and then after that you'll have good friends that you feel comfortable with and that you can be yourself around and I think that's just like such an important thing. Good luck in school everybody. Stick with people that make you happy. Stick with people that are, that won't make you do bad things. Kind of sucks for everyone but it gives you something to do and it gives you a place to be around people and I think it can be a positive thing if you look at it that way. So yeah, good luck with the schools. That's all. Remember to follow my Instagram and Twitter, E-L-L-L-A Fields, and have a great swaggy day. Take a shot every time she says swaggy. Pretty sure I only said it three times, so only take three shots. Just kidding, don't take any shots. Stay in school!